<sighs> How's everyone doing today? Let's talk about having a bad day. Oh man. So much shit has just happened in the past hour that you guys would not believe. So today I went on that uh, job from the last video, the windows, and uh, put them all in and, you know, one of them got this little little crack on the bottom corner of it, of the glass, and uh, pulled the glades and off and there was a big chip on the corner of the glass. So I took a picture of it, called up Home Depot where I got the windows. I said, like, hey, there's a chip in the glass and it ran. And they, they know what's going on, you know, and I explained to the customer, I was like, hey, this is a very common thing that happens, you know, it's, uh, so I called up the store, they said, yeah, we'll go ahead and order another one for you, but uh, the only thing is it's going to be September before we get the glass. So, and there's, you know, I put a piece of tape on, I says, all right, you know, I told the customer, I was like, it doesn't really affect anything, you know, just don't play around with it, don't play with the tape, I said, if it breaks again, just let me know, you know, everything else worked perfectly, the job's done, everything's done dude wouldn't pay me I said I understand you know you need me to come out and swap out a piece of glasses I guess you know I was like technically it's still under their warranty so they should swap it out but I'll go ahead because I've already been out here and I'll knock it out for you whenever it comes in but it's not gonna come in until September this is according to you know Home Depot so he said I said he says I'm not gonna pay you I said well can you pay a little bit you know you can pay half or whatever just because you know I've already finished the job all it is is just a warranty thing it's not even a an issue is just warranty. I'm not paying you a damn thing. So yeah, that already put a bad taste in my mouth after working all day. Okay. Second thing, uh, I go over to my mom's house and you know spend a little time with her, and he calls me up saying, "Hey, uh, I was messing around the windows and one of them fell out of the track." I was like, "Oh Lord!" So I drive over there and say hey put it back in the track so just when you handle them just be careful you know don't uh don't get them all crooked and everything else so that happened and then i get over to my warehouse and the mechanic across the street uh, let me see if i can uh now i'm gonna turn you around uh that place right there made me in the service okay so around here everything's still good we're still filming good all right so i have i already tried doing that before and the video cut off on me so yeah wonderful day wonderful day i'm still smiling sort of so anyways, I go over there and I say, hey, you know, it's been a few weeks. I was like, you ever, um, by the way, he's supposed to be doing the brake booster. I'm going to do the brakes, but he's just supposed to do the booster. It's been like three weeks. I'm like, hey, man, you know, uh, you ever going to get a chance to do it? I says, I'm done with my last job, so let's knock it out. He said, I'm not going to do it. I go, uh, well, you've been telling me for three weeks you were. You know, Oh, and let me back it up a little bit. When he uh, originally quoted me, I said, how much to do just a booster? He's like 80 bucks. I said, like, how about this? I'll give you 150. Let's knock this thing out. So, and this is, uh, and I gave him one of my key, the door key. You know, I says, hey, go ahead and, you know, just whenever you get a chance, just knock it out. And, you know, the booster's in the truck and everything else. And uh, this is up until a couple of days ago when I cleaned it out. So, yeah. Um, so he's refusing to do any work and he's refusing to give, give me the key back to the truck. So now I don't owe him no money. He don't owe me anything. We haven't, I mean, there's no paperwork. There's nothing. He hasn't even started. Okay. So I'm trying not to kill an old man. So yeah, it's funny. I, I, I've i been counting to 10 so many damn times since I talked to him. And now I'm trying to figure out what's the proper way because he's not giving me my key back. So I'm going to go ahead and empty the truck out just in case. And I'm going to pull my you know, garage door over everything out of it in case he tries something stupid, which if he does, that gives me a reason to blast his ass. But, um, yeah, I just, I, what the hell's going on with this world, man? I give him damn near double what he was asking. Told him when it, at his convenience, you know, which he has told me four times, I'll get to it tomorrow, I'll get to it tomorrow, I'll get to it tomorrow, get to, you know, four times. And I got this cover here, I pulled it up, where you don't have to work in the rain you know i mean i've done every single thing i could do he can drive it over there you know 
But now he's uh, flat out told me today, I said, are you going to do the work? No. Uh, are you giving me my key back? I'll give you the key when I give you the key. What the hell does that mean? You know. I'm counting to ten again. Just, just talking about it pisses me off. Uh, so, yeah. That's been my day today. And now I'm cleaning out all the trash and gonna put the metal out. If somebody wants to come get the metal, I'm gonna do a free thing on um, Craigslist and just come pick it up if they want it. Or I'll just leave it out by the road and let, I just don't want people to break the glass. I might put the, if they don't pick it up tonight, I'll put the glass in the dumpster and then put the metal out by the road and then just whoever wants it, wants it. But I am, I'm perplexed. I don't know what the game is that he's trying to play. I'm trying to figure it out. Like, you know, if he wanted to be sneaky, he can make a copy of the key and I would never know. But to flat out and just say, now, you know, now I'm thinking of all these scenarios on where he's trying to screw me over. And he may not be trying to, he may have some medical issue. I don't freaking know, but God, he's not handling it the right way. And I'm trying to figure out, should I go back over there and explain to him that he just needs to give me back my key? That's it. I think I might put a police report on this. Just say, hey, this is a situation. Actually, I'm going to calm down first. Tomorrow, I'm going to go ask him again. If he continues, then I'm just going to file a report. Uh, file a claim against his business for improper practices and go from there not the best video <laughs> not the best video today but man at least today is over with I don't have any any technical job to do until September and at least I got a thousand dollars sometimes in September once I swap out that glass and the glass don't cost me anything they're they're replacing it for free so and I had I had him sign the paperwork that he still owes me the money that once the glass is replaced, man, if this glass comes in broken, this is gonna be raw glass. Hopefully they don't break that. But I'll go swap that out and then sometime in September I'll get me a thousand dollars. You can't help people out. Alright, anybody who ever does any kind of service work. What I'm about to say is going to hit you in your heart. How is it every time that you try... Stance truck. Go figure. Who the hell Stance is a damn ranger? Oh, God. Anyways. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Hit you in the heart. Anybody who does service that goes out and, you know, works at people's houses or works on it, why, how is it every time that you go and try to do a favor, cut somebody a deal, do something a little, say, okay, you know, I'm going to hook you up. Why is it them are always the hardest, most aggravating piece of crap jobs out there? You know, are we not supposed to help people out? God, are you doing this? You know, like you, you go out of your way and you try to do a favor for somebody and it, it just turns into this Karen situation. I'm actually thinking of a, a job that was a um, yeah, fairly attractive. I mean, I'm sure she used to be attractive, but fairly attractive. Single mother, you know, renting a crap hole place and... Um, the sliding glass door was not operational or anything. So anyways, uh, I went out there and, uh, you know, normally I charge like 175 so I'll do it for 150 I'll, I'll have it done in about an hour. You know, so I swapped it out, made that thing, I mean, one finger. Had that sucker rolling back and forth. And um, the front door, like whenever I first walked in, the front door barely closed. So I said, hey, you know, I'm, I'm going to go and hook you up. I said, you know, and I just adjusted the front door, got the doors to lock and everything else. So... About three days later, my door's not closed. I'm like, well, close it then. Because I was like, when I left, everything was fine. A uh, painter came by. And I guess the, the landlord had a painter come by and was painting up things. And 
uh, he took the door off the hinges, painted the door and put it back and screwed it up. And now her and the landlord is like, well, you fixed the door. Now you're responsible. And I was like, listen, I, the painter took everything apart. You know, I, actually, I didn't know, you know, whenever I got there, I said, hey, I'm going to have to charge you. Like my minimum labor is 75. So I said, just give me 20 bucks for the gas to come over here. Said, I'm not paying you a damn thing. This is your fault. And I was like, wait a minute, this door was a different color. And that's when I found out that the painter took everything apart and put it back together like crap. But see, I mean, that's something. If I would have not helped her, I would have never been in that whole situation to begin with. I mean, I went ahead and fixed it and everything for a second time. And, you know, and just, it, it's, it's, you know, I probably should have just said, you know what, screw you guys, fuck you, go home. But, you know, it's, um, every time I try to help somebody, every time I go out of my way to be the good guy, I'm always going to get screwed. I don't think I can be a bad guy, though. I want to sometimes. I don't think it's in my heart. Oh, this took a turn to the worst again. Anyways, tomorrow's going to be a happy day. Tomorrow I'm going to wake up. I'm going to work on a piece of furniture for my mom, get that painted. I'm going to build a door for a customer, and he's going to come by and pick it up tomorrow afternoon. Or he lied to me and I just have an extra door built. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to build a door. And I think I might work on getting a couple of these uh, tubs. Get some of them sold. Because they're just in the way right now. Yeah, I think uh, end of this week, early next week, I'm, we're going to start processing again and going through some things i want to get back uh they finally dumped the trash here so i got empty trash cans again so we're gonna go back into 319 and try to get that uh completely emptied and um, if i have to now that the windows are out of here i'm gonna get um put some stuff in the ice cream truck and try to get 319 out of here and just sell it for whatever the hell i can get for it so yeah i need to get it going so but anyways Peace, love, money. Let's try a little bit of happiness time. This time. I'm out. I'm going to go clean the truck. Have fun. Hopefully. Well, I know your day was better than mine. I doubt you had a worse day than me. So, But I'll see y'all tomorrow. Smiles and happiness.